Welcome back to my Bible Geography Classroom. I'm Samantha Corcoran, and in this video, we'll talk about the workshop rotation model. So what is a workshop rotation model? Well, it's actually based on educational theory, specifically Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences. This graph shows you the eight different intelligences in this theory. The first one is musical, or being music smart, where you feel the rhythm. Uh, the second one is bodily kinesthetic, where uh, you like to move, you learn through movement. The third is interpersonal, being people smart, being really good with people. Uh, number four is verbal linguistic. That's if you're word smart, if you're really great with uh, languages. Number five is logical mathematical. Uh, think logic smart. And number six uh, is naturalistic or nature smart. Number seven is intrapersonal, being self smart. And number eight is visual spatial, being picture smart. Our Bible Geography classroom focuses on um, several intelligences. So when we read maps, we use visual spatial. We also use logical mathematical, calculating distances, adding up um, days traveled, like Abraham's journeys. And we also sometimes will bring in music. We have our continent song when we sing about the continents. Uh, and sometimes we'll do some building and construction. Uh, think of like the ancient ziggurat. We'll build that as a model in class. Those 3D puzzles are a lot of fun for the kids. That's bodily kinesthetic, getting them to learn through movement. A child who comes to our Bible classes on Sunday morning or Wednesday night will actually learn the same Bible story for six whole weeks. And then each week they'll rotate to a different workshop. Now geography is just one of those workshops. There are five others that the children will go through as well. So they're not just getting the geography side. There's also storytelling, where they learn the facts about the Bible story. There's drama, where they get to act out a play about the Bible story. We also have a games workshop, where students learn through movement, that bodily kinesthetic intelligence. And so they remember Bible stories with games. Uh, and music, we have a music workshop where students will learn uh, a lot of Bible songs to help them remember the stories. Uh, we also have a creation station, which is our art class. And so children will get to come and make very lovely creations uh, about each Bible story. So all six of those work together to teach the children uh, about different characters throughout the Bible. And so we have uh, 16 Old Testament lessons and 17 New Testament lessons. And they typically focus on a character. So uh, we have in the beginning, which is the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve. And then we have um, Abraham, we have Moses, all the way to the New Testament with Jesus and Paul and everything in between. And so we focus on the larger stories as well, but we're able to go into much more depth. And students come away from these workshops, not just with more depth of knowledge, but they come away with um, a better way for application. They seem to really internalize the lessons that we're teaching. In our curriculum, children will make it through the entire Bible in four years. The way I'll release these videos at, is that I'll have two per lesson. So for Old Testament number one, which is in the beginning, uh, I'll have a part one and a part two. The part one we teach on Sunday and the part two we teach on Wednesday or vice versa. So there will be two videos for every lesson. So be sure to check out the other video and I've linked it in the description below. Remember to look at the description of this video so that you can see all of the resources that I used and links on where you can find them. If you like what you've seen in this video today, please subscribe.